Let's take a look at Lab 2B using Embed OS 6. So this program is kind of interesting because it has a number of features from things that you've done in the past in another C programming course, such as unsigned char name, which is a character array of 80 characters. We're also going to be looking at functions that are created here. You can see up here we've got our function prototype here. We have our function definitions. Let's just get an idea of what this program does by just hitting the Run button. It says right now it's running and it's saying input all your names. So I'm going to type in David Elmo Ross and you can see that it's centered it in the middle of the screen. The middle of the screen is roughly about here and part of this is to the left and part of it is to the right of row 12 and column 40. Now let's take a look at some other aspects of this. So if I type in A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, J, O, 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 something like that. And if I erase these, and I type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and erase these, then I type in A, B, you'll notice that the A, B is still centered. It didn't matter that I erased things and so forth. It's still going to center everything that I typed in. We take a look at our code here. The 7F is our delete key. So every time we hit a delete, it's going to back up one for the character we entered, and uh, it's going to back up another one as well to uh, put us at the start of where we should be. And so it's taking into account all of this stuff here. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to now go to debug, and let's take a look at debugging this and getting a better idea of how this is working internally. And now we're getting our debug screen. And we have to wait again until we get our arrow up here, but I'm going to be setting some breakpoints just to give you some idea of where things are happening. So I'm just going to go up here to our clear function. I'm going to put a uh, breakpoint at line 20. I'm also going to go down here and put one at, uh, at line 25. I'm going to put a breakpoint. And I'm also going to go down here to line 40 and put a breakpoint here. So I'm just going to run to our first breakpoint. And notice we are on the clear function. And what we can do is instead of stepping over that, let's actually go in and take a look and see how it works by doing step into. So if we do step into, here we are. And notice what we've got in here. We've got printf quote backslash e. Backslash e is the escape character. So this is escape less square bracket two capital J. So let's step over that. And right now it has still not executed the printf it's about to. So it's executed, but nothing happened on the screen. We still have all this stuff sitting on the screen. But if we do an f flush, boom, the screen is now clear. And if we go back here to position, and let's step into that one, you'll notice here that we've got X and Y here are 1. So this is the same thing as escape, less square bracket 1, semicolon 1, capital H. So if we go through that and print that, it hasn't printed it yet. It's printed it, but it hasn't flushed it. It's now flushed it. And now we can see that we're back at the top left of our screen. So let's step over one more time. So here's where we are now. We're going to run down to the next statement here. So I'm just which is at line 25. I'm just going to hit the Run button. And it's waiting for me to type in a character. So up here, I'm going to click on the screen. I'm going to type in a D. Notice we have a D here in our name array. But if I slide down here, notice all the garbage we've got in here. And this is typical of an array or any variable that's not initialized. It's going to have random stuff in it because it's made up of a type of memory called RAM. And RAM is full of random stuff when you first power it up. If you don't initialize it, it's going to have random values. Anyway, so here we are at this line here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to hit the Run button, where it's going to drop it a loop and say, I've typed in my entire name. So I'm going to hit this up here, David, and I'm going to hit Enter. So if I hit Enter, right now I'm on this line here. Now notice right now it's got a line feed in here, okay? And so because I hit the Enter key, and the Enter key for OS 6 is a line feed, which is a 0A. And what we have to do is change that to a null, so we can use the printf percent %s here to print it out as an array. So let's step over that. And let's take a look, and you can see now that it's actually executed this and put a zero at the end so that this becomes a string array and we can actually print out this string. Now we're stepping over that. Now notice it doesn't go to the screen right away because it's waiting for something to push it out of the buffer which is another printf. So we're going to hit this and there's my name up here and then the get char is going to cause the printf to get pushed out because we're not using f flushes. We should. 
and there we are and this is how our program works so this should give you a better idea of the internal workings of how things work in arrays and so forth in this code that we've got here